Hi everyone, welcome back to Colouring with Kate. Thank you for joining me today. So in this video um, I wanted to show um, how I'm basically going to use the iridescence pastels um, by Sennelia. So these are the 12 iridescent oil pastels and then I just wanted to show you also that I have the um, Paul Rubens Macaron pastels as well. Um, and I did use these, so I did a little practice with them, and I was going to use them on a page, but then um, I'll show you the page as well. I I didn't really like the way, I mean, they are oily, so they are going to feel oily, I understand that, but I just didn't like it on the page. So here I've used the uh, Paul Rubens pastels, and I'm not so keen on the how it looks so I'm not so keen on how it looks and also um, it, it is quite greasy I'd say you can see the um, sharks and stuff here I've been playing around using the Sennelier iridescent oil pastels and they've got a beautiful um, shine and glimmer to them when I touch these they don't feel oily at all so they are much preferred and I might even use these in colouring book pages because um, I said that I'm going to use them on PDFs but actually these I think I mean I still put um, a tracing paper or another paper in between the pages just to be on the safe side but um, yeah I think they look really nice and I thought I'd come on and just show have a little video showing me using them and how I, you know what I did was I was just experimenting with it and I was using because the um, the silicone pastels but I don't find them very easy to to move the oil pastel with um, they don't move as, as nice as you want them to and then um, I've also read that you can use this um, shimmy whatever it's called it's spelled c-h-a-m-o-i-s or chamois or something. I've used that cloth as well, which is okay um, to blend the oil pastel. Um, and then I also um, use baby oil. I don't know where the labels disappeared to, but anyway, this is baby oil. So I use the baby oil to try to um, blend it. And I found that the baby oil sort of works the best with some, um, you know, blending stumps. So let's get started. So like I say, this was just like a practice one and I, decide, and I decided against using the Paul Rubin one. So I'm going to put them to one side and show you the picture that I'm working on, which is this one. So this isn't going to be a video that's too long, hopefully, but you can see what I've done already. So this, this page is, um, gosh, I can't even remember now, but I got this off Etsy. I think it's Zoe Sadler on Etsy. Um, I really like her artwork. But you can see this background here. I use the um, Japanese tinted paints. I call them tinted, but they're basically black, like black, yellow, black, red, sort of dullish colours. And I use several layers of that to get this this look. I'm quite happy with how it turned out. And then I used um, the Paul Rubens um, glitter paints. So I used the, I think it's called the pearl silver and the pearl gold for the clouds. Um, and then this is just Pablo pencils for the legs, um, well, for the trousers and the boots, should I say. And then the water here is um, watercolour pencil, which is Museum Aquarelles. So let's see how this goes so bring it in just to bring the fish in and see what we can work on so i'm going to show you the iridescence oops pastels as well take the booklets out but they are absolutely beautiful you can see there so i will link these just get you out a little bit so you can see them i will link these uh, beautiful iridescent pastel you can get them in a six as well so in a set of six and i think the maximum size that the iridescent <coughs> sorry pastels come in is 12 so i thought i might as well get that one so what i'm going to do is i'm going to probably 
colour this fish here in sort of choose some colours that might go together so we'll use this what's it called they are labelled with colours I'm sure um, it's just a matter of finding it but it's a silvery colour oh yeah it's called aluminium yeah found it okay let me just put my glasses on as well so it's a bit easier so aluminium um, so a little hair in there which I'm going to take out um, so we'll go with the silver we'll use a little bit of this pastel uh, white iridescent white um, another iridescent white here I think as well yeah that's just white it's just white and not iridescent white but just white and we'll go with a small amount of this which is a pale gold so we'll start off with those colours I'm going to do this fish here so I'll bring it in there Okay, so let's start off with a little bit of this pale gold. Do its fins in gold as well. So just lay the colour down quite gently and then I'll worry about doing the rest of it, sort of blending it in afterwards. So yeah, I hope you're all doing well. Um and things are going good so yeah that's just at the top and then I might add the iridescent white just in this section here just underneath it and we'll just go up to there and then I'm going to go with the aluminium to the bottom. Uh, also, it's got a little fin there as well, so put a bit of aluminium on there as well. So, yeah, this is all new to me, and I'm learning. I'm just nowhere near what, what you might call someone experienced with this sort of stuff. Um, but it's just fun, isn't it, to look into all the mediums. So there we go. Uh, a little bit more pale gold maybe on these fins. I don't want to go outside the line, but I did there a little bit. Oh well. Right, and then i just show you, I'm trying to use the um, silicone brush. Maybe I'm using it wrong, maybe you can tell me because I know there's a few people that that use these sort of things and know a great deal more about it than me. I mean, it is blending a little bit, but I like it's not as neat as I want it. That's the thing. So let's try to just smoosh all these colours together. Okay, so yeah, it is blending. I mean, I have got some other shapes I can look at. I've got some tissues because I will be needing those. But then the other thing that um, I mean is the baby oil. Blending with the baby oil will be quite nice. You could use a brush or probably. So let's try, let's try that shall we. So I'm going to use the baby oil, just taking a bit of it out. You'll need a tiny bit. I'm going to use my, um, the blending stump. Blend in there. Get you in a bit closer. just so that I can go right to the edge here. Yeah, I find that the with the baby oil it's much better. Just 
So yeah, I'd probably use that rather than just the um, the uh, silicone brushes. Yeah, it's nicely blending. You just want a little bit of the baby oil, really. You can see doing the tail now, making sure I'm on camera. Um, so there we go. Again, I'd be a bit afraid to use the baby oil in my colouring books, just in case it messes up the... if it's a double-sided book. Mind you, a single-sided book might not be too bad, but I would not really want to use it in a double-sided book. So, yeah, I think this is looking okay. Um, seems alright to me. Right, so that's that fish done. I think it looks, um, I mean, you know me with shiny stuff. Shiny, glittery stuff, that's just me. So, <laughs> it's um, all good for me if it looks like that. There we go. So, yeah, I quite like that. Okay, so let's work on another fish. I'm just going to put this little um, sandpaper block thing, you know, to... Um, Sort of sharpen my edge of my um, um, paper stump. So just using that. There we go, that'll do. Right, so let's use some other colours and now we're going to do this fish on this side, I think. So the colours I'm going to use for this guy are going to be reds and oranges, I think. So if you have a look, We've got this colour here. So by the way, these are quite reasonably priced as well. So you might, um, they're on Amazon and I, like I said, I will link them, but they are, they are definitely worth it. So I've got a reddish brown gold, which I'm going to use. I'm going to use this one, which is a red gold as well. And then this one here, which is um, a golden pearl. So that's quite pretty so let's have a look bring you in again like that just thought it'd be I know that there was a couple of subscribers who, who were keen for me to try this on camera so I thought trying to get round to all the requests or as many as I can um, I know that if I don't if you've requested something and I haven't done it straight away the video um, please don't think I've forgotten I've I have written it down, it's just um, time and being able to get to it all within a month. So, yeah, be be patient with me, please. So, yeah, I'm just trying to be careful as I lay this down. So, we'll go with that. Put in a little bit of um, this, what's it called, red gold there. Now, if I do go out of the lines I am going to actually use you know the pit pen the black pit pen that I use I will use that to outline um, the fish anyway so so there we go and then the last colour was the the golden pearl So that's it. I'm just so shocked that the school holidays, six weeks summer holidays, have gone so quick. It's just, I don't, I don't know where the time's gone really. It goes so quick. 
Um, so there we go and then now I'm going to use um, the baby oil again so I'm just going to take a little bit of the baby oil in to my lid and uh, let's get should have sharpened my um, blending stump a little bit better than what it is at the moment but we'll roll with it so yeah um, compared to these like silicone brushes I do find the um, baby oil and the blending stumps probably better To do. If I go over the eye, it doesn't really matter. I can put white back in. Oh gosh! All right, I'm going to just use my um, sandpaper block thing to take some off. So yeah, let me know what you are colouring. This month has gone so fast, or oh, it is going so fast. It's ridiculous. Um, and I've coloured nowhere near as much as I wanted to, so I'm a bit <laughs> concerned about that. But yeah, the pictures I chose to colour this month are quite complicated, so detailed. And so... Um, I've only I've not coloured that that much, but I have been colouring. It's just that there's not much to show for it. It seems so. I'm a bit. I'm thinking. Where's the time gone? But yeah, I have been out more, I guess, because it is holidays. I can never sharpen the stumps very well. I don't know why. But um, yeah, I can never get such good points. If you've got any pointers as to how to, uh, you know, get sharp points on your stump and use it properly, I'm sure there's a technique which has eluded me so far. <laughs> um, do let me know. Could use the other side, but. Uh, right there you go I'm quite happy with that I think that's okay um, well, I like the way it's come out so yeah two fish done there let me just come out a bit show you um, so yeah, you can see the lovely shine on there it's been fun to use these iridescent um, Sennelier iridescent pastels so yeah I am definitely going to use these more um, I hope you found this little demo useful um, I hope to do more little demos like this where, where I'm using um, different mediums so yeah I know it's a short video but yeah I thought I'd just quickly show you how that works so until next time take care thanks for watching I'll see you next time bye